Chapter 5, Moses' Discovery. In this chapter, we first discuss the setting of Moses' Discovery. Then, we discuss different methods for Moses' Discovery. After that, we present one specific method for modeling processes. Finally, we look at process model quality assurance. This chapter is related to process discovery in the DPM lifecycle. The aim of process discovery is to produce as is process models. These models represent how a process currently really works. We represent these models as DPMN models. Let's look at the setting of process discovery. How do we approach process discovery? We have to consider four main tasks. First, we have to define the setting of our process discovery project. This means we need to assemble a team that is responsible for managing this project. Then we have to start gathering information. We need this information to understand how the process really works. At this stage, we use different discovery methods. Then we need to arrange this information in a systematic way. This is the task of modeling. When conducting the modeling step, we also need to take into account quality assurance. Quality assurance guarantees that the resulting model meets different quality criteria. Many of these steps are iterative. That means we may jump back and forth between gathering information, modeling, and quality assurance. In particular, the two steps of modeling and quality assurance are deeply intertwined. What is the actual challenge of process discovery? Let's have a look at who is involved. Hi Claudio, hi Steven. Typically we have two roles involved in a discovery project. Two roles means that we may have several individuals that serve as process analysts and that serve as domain experts. Distinguishing these two roles is important because the two roles are associated with different skills and expertise. A process analyst is an expert in process modeling and process analysis. Process analyst is a person who knows how to gather information and how to create models that are accurate. It is likely the case that the process analyst is not familiar with the very details of a particular process in a company. On the other hand, the domain expert is a person who works with or in the process that we are trying to analyze. The domain expert is very familiar with how the process operates. It could be the case that the domain expert is not deeply familiar with process analysis and process modeling techniques. These two roles need to work together in order to come up with an accurate process model. What are the challenges in coming up with an accurate process model? Let's have a look at this example. It's a loan request process. Usually with business processes, there are different persons involved, being responsible for different tasks. Each of these process participants has a fragmented view on the process. In this way, it could be the case that the person responsible here for conduct credit check does not know what is happening later in the back office handling of that 
process and that's the pretty unknown. Process discovery is about putting these fragmented pieces of knowledge together. We need to iteratively validate the process to make sure that these fragmented pieces actually fit together. A second challenge is related to the fact that domain experts know the very details of a process. If you think of a travel, a particular person working in a travel booking process may understand the very different details and might come up with statements that every trip is different. We cannot really compare and it's never actually something that is exactly the same thing as another process. The challenge here is to abstract. When we discover a process, we are interested in the commonalities between the different process instances. That means between the different cases that we process. And the third challenge is related to the knowledge process modeling. Look at all the complicated symbols and elements of BPMN. If you're not a BPMN expert, how could you readily understand what is represented here in this picture? This means when a process analyst is interacting with a domain expert, it is the task of the process analyst to talk with the domain experts in everyday language to make sure that the information that is modeled is right. This means that the domain expert needs to be presented with information in natural language and the process analyst has to always translate back and forth between natural language information and BPMN. You may wonder what makes a good process analyst. A good process analyst has different skills. He or she is a person that has the spirit to get the right people on board. Process analyst is also a person that needs to formulate and test hypotheses. Process analysts must also be able to identify patterns, how certain cases are similar, and how that can be represented in a BPMN model. And finally, the process analyst has to pay attention to the quality of the model.